Soil is used to produce our food. Therefore, it has become a highly managed resource. In this short animation, we are going to help you understand what soil really is, the different way it is being managed, and the effects of this management on us and our planet. Let us start by looking at our average, uncultivated, unmanaged soil. Say somewhere in the bush where you like to go hiking. Beneath your feet is a world so balanced and intricate that everything above the ground exists harmoniously. Soil is a mixture of air, water, a mineral component and an organic component, of which 3% should be living organisms. And it is that small but important percent that is usually overlooked or simply forgotten. These include beneficial bacteria, fungi, and many little critters that add to the perfect function of the soil food web, key to the structure and property of this evolved and complex system, all working together to sustainably recycle nutrients. To put it simply, a plant puts down a root and releases an exudate, which is a mixture of carbohydrates, proteins and sugars. This interaction is a symbiotic adaption to attract beneficial organisms to the root zone which in turn supply essential nutrients back to the plant. The exudates attract only the good guys, leaving the pathogens out on the periphery. The plant gets stronger and healthier. Plowing or simply turning over the earth is commonly practiced by farmers all over the world. It's believed by loosening the soil we are aiding plant roots by increasing soil depth, breaking up rocks and aerating the soil. But in fact, this is what happens when we plow. The soil is turned over, exposing the dark, loving, beneficial bacteria to the sunlight, killing them. The sun also depletes nutrient and air-creating organisms. Important gases meant to remain in the soil as a nutrient source are released into the atmosphere. The beneficial fungi colonies have broken up, their spores being introduced to the sunlight damaging them, rendering them unavailable to the next generation of roots. The soil food web becomes imbalanced, decreasing its potential to produce wholesome food. After excessive ploughing, the ideal composition and structure of the soil is drastically depleted, resulting in poor crop yields. Fertilizers are then added to the soil to maintain expected yields, this creates more imbalance and weakening of the soil, generating a constant demand on this external source for plant maintenance. The soil ends up as nothing but a medium to hold plants upright and receive these external fertilizers, reversing the natural evolution of the soil. So what do we do? We can carry on like this, not very sustainable. We can stop plowing and allow the soil to rejuvenate but because of the damage already done, it will take some time, something the consumer sector does not allow for. Or we can begin to put back seed by seed what we have taken out, restoring our soil, growing top quality produce that not only tastes better, but has more nutrients cell for cell. Sounds great, but how do we do that? Let's drop seeds into the equation. 1 onto ploughed soil, let's call him Monty. 1 onto unploughed soil, Jeffrey. Another 1 onto unploughed soil, the same seed as Monty's and Jeff's, but we give him a unique coating of organic nutrients, beneficial microbes and biochar. His creators call seeds like him a silver bullet. Now what happens to them when left out on the field and what makes bullet so special? The first threat is being eaten by birds and insects. Monty and Jeff are looking tasty. But as you can see, bullet is totally hidden and protected. Okay, let's say they all made it over the first hurdle and we have our first rains. They all wake up and start to put down a little root. Monty's root goes down quickly because his soil has been loosened. The others are not far behind. Bullet's outer shell starts to melt. 
its components entering the soil with his root. Monty is stressing. He is hard at work releasing exudates. No one is there to help him. Jeff is a little stressed. He is getting a little feedback, but nothing like what he expected. Bullet is loving life. He has all the support he needs. The nitrogen-fixing bacteria are there, providing him with the right form of nitrogen. Mycorrhizal fungi join his root system, hugely increasing his access to nutrients. With their immense presence, they also work as a first line of defense against pathogenic fungi and bacteria. Just when Monty thought it was the end, added chemical fertilizer helps him to grow quickly. Poor Jeff is really having to work hard to push his roots out. He feels as though there is not enough time or energy to grow, yet he persists. Bullet is still just cruising along. He is strong and healthy because he has everything that he needs. Now it's time for harvest, and we can make our final assessment. From the surface, Jeff appears to have struggled. Monty looks as if he did the best, but on closer inspection, we will find that his tissue structure and balance of nutrients are not all that great. Bullet did well, and looking closer, we see a more balanced and nutritious tissue structure. This is wholesome food. Now the soil. We observe that the fertility of Monty's soil remains somewhat the same, perhaps a little more inert. Jeff does not look so bad anymore. We can see that his roots have played an important role in soil fertility, helping to rehabilitate the now growing soil food web. Bullet is off the radar. His soil shows the incredible benefits he has contributed to the soil's fertility, the structure, and food web. With the silver bullet. Our soils can be managed back to a sustainable state, doing away with the expense of chemical fertilizers that end up doing more harm than good. In this way, we can grow more stronger, healthier, disease-resistant plants that benefit us as well as the world around us.